thank you so much Ghana. thank you i got your invite and i'm definitely coming by monday i'll be in ghana love it so much Mwah! welcome back to my channel it's your girl az williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys a very big congratulations to yvonne yes guys the ex big brother titan house may just buy another endorsement deal this time around with skin therapy beauty and spa as she becomes their latest brand ambassador this was unveiled today via her instagram page a very big congratulations to her also guys a very big congratulations to yemi craigs as he got this partnership with a real estate brand yes guys um the brand itself put out this on their different social media handles and said introducing our new esteemed brand partner for think means nigeria i think means um ng we are thrilled to have the incredible talented and influential at king craig's work with us we couldn't be more excited to have at king craig's as our brand partner representing our commitment to innovation yes guys a very big congratulations to yemi yes now away from that ghana cozy reigns i guess you guys have already heard this news but i'm here to also tell you that your queen yes or your king rather as you guys call her king kosi will be in ghana on monday yes the 19th of june 2023 yes you guys invited her and she said you know what i am coming to your country and i know you guys are going to be you know treating her well and welcoming her because like i always say ghana um, when it comes to Big Brother stuff, Ghana is always number one with their hospitality, and I admire that. Yes, guys. Now, away from that, but still on Ghana. Ah, my Ghanaian brothers and sisters. You guys did not tell me you people have your own version of Big Brother, but I don't think it's actually kind of Big Brother because you guys call it something... Um, ah, I've forgotten the name, Sha, but um, I got to know of it because Fina was invited there as a special guest. And you guys were calling... I think the person is Big Mama. Is it Big Mama or Big Mommy? I'm not sure. <laughs> like, it was weird for me, but I mean, it's, it's something... And it's not actually the first time that TV3 is doing something like this. I remember as a teenager when I was in Ghana that you guys had the show looking for love yes i remember it specifically because i was not allowed to watch it then but like it was um a big show then where people go and look for love and it looks like it's something similar the perfect match extra that's the name of the show yes guys but i mean well done well done you guys so you guys invited fina as a special guest and as she's also going for different media rounds in ghana yes guys now still to Talking about Fina, we all know what happened yesterday with her and Groovy. Um, Groovy, now, Groovy coming out to say, you know what? Um, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. It's become a broken record. You coming out to, you know, um, extend the hand of friendship and then coming out to say that I was in genuine. I'm done. Of course, we had Groovy's sister come out to say some things. We had um Groovy's PA also coming out to say, oh, Groovy stood by Fina. Groovy did this. Groovy did that. And this is what Fina is paying him back with. Well, um. Fina responded yesterday. I could not make a video yesterday because of some circumstances beyond my control, but I'm here to tell you what Fina said. I know some of you must have heard it, but I will still talk about it. Now, Fina put this out and said, I did. I don't ask for friendship from those I'm not cool with. I just forgive and move on. You people should always get your facts right, but when their topics comes up and there is need to talk about them, I do it with my full chest. Which one be, say, which one be asked for friendship? I beg, Capins be getting too much at Groovy Mono. Now, this is the one that shocked me most because she actually tagged him with her full chest. Um, at last you unfollowed. Anyways, I already forgave and moved on, but never you say 
anybody begged your friendship. Both of us knows who begged for friendship. Guess you're tired of pretending and lying to yourself. My own is if anybody wants to say anything, say it with your full chest. And most of all, don't lie. I mean, never you lie. She also went in to say love and light. She also said this, um, my own is full family should not come and beat me up because this street will really be dirty. Let's play. I want my mom Mommy will beat me out. Honestly, I think this is a low blow. I was was I expecting Fina to respond? Yes, because it's in her character to do so. But all this unnecessary. Honestly, I love Fina. You guys know I love Fina, but I feel like it's too much. I think she should have just thought like, okay, nobody asks for friendship. But the rest of the things she said, honestly, I know the fans will love it, but for me, I just feel it's too much because um. We've not seen Groovy actually say anything against Fina so far. I don't know what the reunion host has in stock for us. But for now, I mean, she should leave it. Leave this matter. Leave this matter, honestly, because at this point, it's becoming too much. That's what I think about it. Now, away from that, but still on your Big Brother faves. So this person came out today with this tweet and said, three years ago, three years ago today, we reached out to an ex-BBN housemate for an ambassador gig with a top FMCG in Nigeria. She asked us to bring 25 million Naira and a brand new Mercedes E350. We later signed a Nigerian footballer who played for Man United, Man United, that's Manchester United at the time, for half of this and he delivered well. Now, when this tweet came out, of course, it went viral because, I mean, it involves Big Brother, you know, ex mates and um, because of the ridiculous amount and the conditions that were put out here by this person. And honestly, when I saw this, I started doing a lot of calculations. So this person said three years ago today, and three years ago today, we've not had um, the lockdown season. So it has it, it cannot be anybody from the lockdown season or the shine your eye season or even the level up season. So we are talking about somebody either from the Pepperdam season, um, the Sego Bay season, or the um the other season that we had. So who do you think it is? A lot of people are speculating that it might be somebody from the Pepperdam season because somebody came out and brought out um an advert which was done by Igalo, who at that time was um a Man United player. So I guess the person or the ad in question is for Deto and the you know, footballer that took the job is a gallo, but we are still not sure who the ex Big Brother Niger housemate was or is. Now, a lot of people are speculating that it has to be between um Mercy or Tacha. Now, I rule out Mercy because Mercy was already signed to Hawaii Soap, if you guys remember. So if Mercy and Venita were signed to Hawaii Soap at that time, so they can't sign with any other soap brand, right? So it's either it um Tacha or any other person else from the Sego Bay season or the Double Wahala season or um from the Pepperdam season. Or um, well, I don't know who it is, but it's actually very ridiculous, you know, to ask for 25M at that time, three years ago. Why? Well, hmm, maybe the person has a lot of clout. So mm, that's how I see it. Maybe the person has a lot of clout and that's what the person thinks. Okay, that's I'm worth more than this or this is what I'm worth. But let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. Now, away from that, guys, is the rainy season. And um, you know what happens. A lot of people start falling sick and all that. And of course, your ex brother Niger housemates are humans who are prone to fall sick from time to time. Yes, guys, Chichi has been hospitalized. Yes, guys, baby girl is not feeling fine at the moment. She shared this via her Instagram story. Um, our heart goes out to her, and of course, our prayers go out to her, wishing her a speedy recovery. Also, it looks like Dotun also is kind of under the weather because he posted this on his snap stories. So um, let's just be praying for them. And also for us, it's the rainy season, like I said, it's raining almost every day. And you all know with the weather change comes different ailments and sickness and all that. Please do take care of yourself. 
please get your vitamins. Very, very important. Get your vitamins. Never like go a day without your vitamins. I beg. Take care of your immune system so your immune system can take care of you. Yes. On that note, guys, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams.